Good morning, Dragon Ball Super players. My name is Loki, and I'm joined by our lovely Guild Master Scott Sederman. Hello, everybody. Yep, we're talking about Freezer Swap today. Another version of it, right? We've had Red Freezer Swap, yes. and now we've got Yellow Freezer Back Swap. Um, yeah, man, that's a throwback. Um, wow. Yeah, honestly, I'm quite excited to talk about Freezer. I'm quite excited to talk about Swap. Let's just get straight into it, but first, oh, I almost had you. We have Voltex, our partner, our affiliate. Guys, you've been smashing it with the affiliate links, so thank you from the bottom of our hearts. It means a lot. Uh, if you want to save 10%, use the discount code in the description and get some nice binders, and it helps the channel. You guys know what to do now. Go into the description. Awesome. Let's talk about Freezer. You can also get an amazing magnetic cases for your leaders. That That's is also true, back. yes. Always work. That is also true. Yes. So going with our newest freezer leader, he goes back to yellow again. So permanent, reduce the skill cost of swap on your yellow freezer card by one yellow. So it's best pretty good reduction, yeah. Also, if you have two or more energy, when you activate swap on one of your yellow freezer cards, you may flip this card to its backside. If you do Draw two cards and add cards from your life to your hand. I believe you have six. Very nice, very simple. On turn two, you can awaken if they don't remove your one drop. Mm. I, I, I like it. I think it's a pretty solid, like, okay, cool. If you're playing the deck as intended, you're going to get rewarded with this yes. version of Awaken if you want. And then activate main. Look at the five cards from the top of your deck and add either the return of the Army of Terror or a yellow freezer to your hand and shuffle your deck. Uh, you don't take life for that, so it's nice. You don't mm -hmm. need to discard anything, also really nice. It doesn't check the cost, just a yellow freezer. Or the one specific card, which we'll talk yes. about in a bit. Um, I, I, I really like this. I, I'm a big fan of decks where it's like, okay, well, there's just a playmaker. I mean, top five to try and find your playmaker. Failing that, well, you just find a yellow freezer, your deck's going to be full of them. I yes. don't hate this at all. I think it's fine. And then you have an actual awakened skill for four life or less. You can draw one and switch one of your energy to active. So if you don't get your swap early on, you still have that option for awaken if your opponent is just punching too hard. Yeah, exactly right. Um, and in an aggressive meta as we are today, it's nice to still have that awaken, right? Because uh, you, you never know when it comes in handy. Um, so, next up we have the Awakened side, which is Freezer, the Emperor who saw revenge. I said saw, I meant to say yes. swore. Yes. It's a whole thing, don't worry about it. Um, permanent, reduce the skill cost of swaps by one. Uh, auto, once per turn, when you activate swap, draw a card. So, you're playing on theme, you're going to get rewarded. That's fine. Uh, auto, once per turn, when one of your yellow freezer cards with swap and then any cost of three or more attacks, look at the top three cards of your deck, add a yellow freezer's army in a combo with its skill negated, then place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck. So, interesting second auto here. I really like it. Um, so, you're rewarded for attacking with your freezers once you've swapped into them, and then obviously swap out of them as well. Uh, so, your three costs or more, which is basically everything in the chain bar the one drop, uh, you get to search for a Freezer's army, which Freezer is a Freezer's army, and also any support cards in the deck are probably going to be Freezer's army. Yeah, you only search top three, but it's a top three for a combo, not just like adding to hand. I, I think it's decent. I think it's a decent little um, helps use the energy for for starters. Yeah, like say, that's the I was main thing. It's a really good. Uh, it's a really good skill. To build up your Z energy, it just I hope that the leader has actually something to do with the Z energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, like we're not prioritizing the leader having to swing here. This is a leader that can gain hand advantage without having to swing. Which is which, pretty much like freezer, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it, it goes back to golden freezer from set one, which again gets a boost from these cards as well. Yeah. Um, just being like able to play your way and then do stuff as well. But it also does incentivize the aggression, right? It's like, oh, if you attack, like you could be attacking into a unison, you could be attacking into a uh, into a rested card. It doesn't have to be a leader. Um, yeah, again, I, I think on 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 paper, I really like this effect. I think it's fun, and it, it, it you know what I mean. It's intuitive to its design, right? And I think that's a really cool thing to have. It definitely screams swap at you because 
Yeah. It keeps that permanent that you used to before, and it gives you the card advantage when you're swapping. Exactly. It, it heavily incentivizes you to play swap. Which I don't think is a bad thing, right? Like then, the the last thing we want is more generic leaders. At least I don't like generic leaders. Um, then we have the Z leader, Golden Freezer, Shining Emperor. So cost three Z energy. Z awaken for one yellow when your life is four or less, and you are specifically Freezer Emperor before revenge. Mm -hmm. I can see this being a thing, but at the same time. I would like to see a more generic Frieza leader. Yeah, I, I think so. My like stance on like generic support is that that's where the anniversary boxes and a assi like uh, assimilated products, I guess. Uh, ancillary, that's the word I'm looking for. Not assimilated, uh, ancillary products. Like that's where I'd like to see that. When it's specifically for this deck, then I I think it works right. Um, like in the main set, you have support for the cards in the set. Mm. Yes, you can throw in a little bit of splash and spice there, uh, but if you if you want to support all freezer yellow leaders and just slap slam it in the anniversary box or something like that, um, but I, I understand where you're coming from and I think it's a fair shout. Uh, so you get Z stack one yellow freezer's army with an energy cost of one. We'll go over those in a bit. Uh, permanent yellow freezer cards by one yellow and two unspecified. That's kind of huge. So because That's you broke huge, right? there a bit on our connection, so permanent reads reduce the skill cost of swap on your yellow freezer cards by one yellow and two. For some reason, your connection just broke there for a second. Oh, that was fine. Uh, when this card is placed in your leader area, draw a card, then remove this card from the game at the end of your opponent's turn. So this is very peculiar. You play this and you can't stop that order from happening. Which means that this is incentivizing you to Z awaken offensively. Because mm -hmm. if you do it defensively, you just get it for that one turn to defend, and then you lose it. That's true. I do, I do like how you also draw a card as well. Yes. And it's also 20,000 power, right? So that's exactly. Right. It, it, helps you, it helps you on the defense at least, right? And then when your yellow freezer cards with an edge cost of five or more attack, oh, we'll talk about that in a second. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Use one yellow freezer's army in a combo with its skills negate, and then then place the rest at the bottom. So similar to the awakened leader, um, two main differences. But now it's targeting five or more, which five or more. I kind of wish it was still three or more. But it's like, not you one know, true, true. That's, that's, that's a very a good point. Big difference. That's what I think. That's why this side is having five or more, because with three or mm -hmm. more, you would get way, me uh, way more attack through. Yeah, that's fair. That's valid. I'll, I'll, you know what? That's fair enough. That's a good shout on the not being one per turn. So, um, yeah. Overall, fine Z leader. Let's see what we got next. I mean, it's a Z leader that costs a lot of Z energy, but also gives you an option to refund that very easily. Yes, yes, very true. Uh, moving on, we have the extra card, the Return of the Army of Terror, which has been mentioned on the Unawakened side. So it's one of those dreaded zero-cost extra cards. Activate yeah, I mean, yeah. always got to be careful with zero-cost extra cards. Activate main, add up to one yellow freezer with swap, and then you cost five or less from your deck to your hand and shuffle your deck. No, no limit, it's Successor of Hope, I think was the... The Bardock one, yeah. Yeah. Goku's I, I mean, essentially, this is Successor of Hope, but for Freezer. But it also has a second effect. Activate Battle Limit 1 is this one. If your leader is Freezer, the Emperor of Swore Revenge, which is the Awakened version. Or yes, so not your Z leader. Or your Z leader, yes. And your life is 4 or less. Choose up to one of your Freezer cards and give it 5,000 power for the turn. This oh, is that's pretty good. Senzu. Uh, like, yeah, I mean it's a, it's a yeah it's it's Senzu for free, right? Um, yeah. So you can what more? Your Z leader be twenty five defensive. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Or your yellow Z leader. Yeah, sorry. Um, so yeah, so can't be used on your uh, front side, which you know that's fine. Yeah. Um, like the main side, the main use of this when you're on your front side is to get swap right going. Yes. Um, but yeah, a twenty five k Z leader is not. 
Like, that's good. That's really solid. You don't need to be at 4 life or less, but let's be honest. If you're in a situation where you need a 5k uh, defense... Well, I mean, you. if you're going on chain, right, you, you go down to 6 when you swap anyway. Yeah. Taking 2 damage in this format, very likely to happen. Yeah. If not, you're just going to keep getting value out of it because you're adding 5 or less as fuck you get. Yeah, it's deck thinning, deck winning, right? Yeah. Uh, really solid SR. I think it's really good that it is an SR. Um, yeah, it's just a, another. At least it's not a generic yellow card. I'll, I'll take yes, it. It's it's yes, very specific for this deck. We don't have a generic deck. yellow SR again. Uh, so shall we start on the swap chain then? Let's yeah, start. with uh, Frieza Bitter Scream, uh, Mr. Cocoon Boy himself. Yeah. He has a 4K base uh, with deflect and barrier, which is nice to see on those one drops. Uh, swap free for one yellow, but obviously if you're playing it in this deck, it's a free swap to a yellow cost of three. Uh, if your leader is a yellow freezer, when this card is played, you may add one yellow freezer swap card from your Z energy to your hand. If you do, add one card from your hand to your Z energy. This is great. I, I really like this um, because this reminds me of the slug, the yellow slug. Yeah. And we were initially pretty, like, we wrote that off quite a bit. But having played against that slug and seeing how stacking your Z energy makes sense, this is this is the same thing, right? Like you can hide stuff in your Z energy and it's gonna be fairly safe. Like hand destruction isn't a big problem in this game right now, but having it in your Z energy is gonna be a lot more safer than it would be otherwise. There are some things that interact with your Z energy, don't get me wrong. There's the golden cooler secret rare. Uh, I think there's a few other cards as well. But for the majority of the time, if you've got stuff saved in your Z energy, it's safe. And, and then using cards your, like this to... It, this also <laughs> makes your leader so much better, doesn't it? Because your leader suddenly tutors those cards because your Z energy becomes a second hand. Because this one yeah. is going to be pretty much always safe. Mm -hmm. And you can play it, use the effect to grab whatever you're missing from the chain, and then swap. Mm -hmm. also, yep. also, very important, I think this is stupendously important, this one drop is not unique. Nor does it have a limit. Nope. So you 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 basically you're incentivized to start going, cool freezer, cool free yeah like, yeah. and start getting those free drops on the board. Is that because it's a free swap in this deck? It's a free swap. Yes. Exactly. Um, all you have to do is pay one energy, um, which to play it. But you know that's and it lets fine. You grab that piece that you already might have tutored with your deck after you awaken. Turn one. Yeah. You the... Just play it to awaken on turn two. That's fine. Whatever. I mean, you could work a turn one, right? No, you need to have two more energy. Fair, valid, valid shout, valid shout. Um, yeah, okay, next up the chain. So we'll go to our first of the free drops. That's right, Bandai actually gave you two options, which is really good. I don't like the Clash of Fate, we just had one chain. He's like, ah, oh, well, that's your chain gone. Cool. No, it's like, oh, you, you have utility, you have choices. Uh, so let's talk about overflowing with confidence. It's a 19k. Tell the people at home why that's important. Uh, it's important because defensively it makes it... it so 19k is one of those weird ones, right? It's not mm. exactly 20k, so offensively it's just a tiny be a bit weaker. It's that It could as well be 16k and it wouldn't change much. Because no. offensively... It would be twenty. Uh, offensively, it would be fifteen k. Defensively, yes. it is a twenty k. Exactly. So, and we have just seen in a um, uh, shout out to you and Demian how important six k is. Yes. Do that because Jen and Roshi proved the point that we keep on talking about on this channel. Yes. Like, do not under like. Okay, it's nineteen k, right? Fifteen k attack, essentially, right? That's what we're saying. But the 20k on defense means your opponent has to commit resources it's into the this if they want to get rid of it. Is it? Hmm? So if you attack into this, it is a 20k when you attack... So 20k hit, if you attack with this... Uh, yes, sorry, 15k on attack, 20 on defense. Yes, it's, yes. It's a confusing... It's a confusing thing, I know. But it's amazing that they printed it like this, because this is what Frieza was, right? He just mm -hmm. goes in, he will punch, but he will not care much about how he's punching. No. He will care that he's perfectly unharmed. 
and, and to be fair, they kind of do actually fix that 15k on attack. I say fix, it's not like it's an issue swinging with a 15k. Mm. Um, but because when you swing with a three, you can do the top three, you might get a combo. So yeah, you've got all, all the way to 24, so it's essentially 23 attack. Yeah, so you know what I mean? Like, it, it, you're going to be hitting those Z leaders, so that's pretty solid. Uh, but then again, the card itself, when it attacks, look up to, so it can be get, you can start stacking this, and you, you can really see yes. where this deck is going to strive, right? It's like, oh, it's, it costs Z energy. It's like, yeah, but off of one swing, you're going to get two cards. You can use two cards, right? So... Like, you're going to be swinging hard with this, and then you're going to swap it. I, there's just I mean, so the much can, I love. So, one thing is that we can do this once per turn, right? So, you attack yes. with the other creature, which I assume doesn't have this auto, to get a combo from the deck with that one. Then you follow up with this. And mm -hmm. also, we have not touched that. Swap five for two yellow, but of course, you get the discount of one yellow. Mm -hmm. And then you go into a yellow creature, which costs five, and swap. Very good thing that you can only swap into something that can swap. Yeah, it incentivizes using the like actual cards, which yeah. again I really like that. Um, yeah, so overflowing with consonants, overflowing with consonants, confidence, consonants. I don't. Words are hard. Uh, into cold-hearted behavior. Uh, yep. So this is a this is another free drop. When it's played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, switch it to rest mode, and if that card has an energy cost of four or less, KO it. I really like this. I think it's nice. I think it's uh, the right kind of removal for the right kind of deck. Again, it's got the two swap into five cost with swap. Uh, 19k stat line. As you mentioned, you swing with this, you get the combo off your leader. Yeah. Then you swing with your other one to get the combo off that. You're hitting 20k both times. Exactly. Really and solid. And you get to Z charge twice. And you get to Z charge twice. For, for nothing, really. You're not losing hand from that. Yeah, exactly. Because it's going from your deck. I, I think it, that's the amazing thing that you get to Z charge, and then of course with the one drop you get to fix your hand afterwards with all the swap cards that you combo with. Exactly. It was like, oh no, I've seen my freezer in that combo. You can use it freely. Like you yeah. don't, you're not punished. It, this is what I I really like about this deck. I think there's a lot to love here. Um, and it's also very yellow removal, isn't it? You yeah, rest mode rest and then mode, KO. And then you have an ability to KO. You either give yourself a target to attack or you remove something. But you still activate all those abilities like 15 when something is switched to rest mode. Uh, right, you could still go that one one yeah. of Bagama. Like, yeah, it, it's very yellow. It's thematic. Uh, then we get to the five drops. And, and we that's actually... when it's getting expensive to play. That's this, when, this when it gets into them, the, right? the danger zone. <laughs> so Freeze are waiting to see 20,000 power. So technically just got 1k power, right? Mm -hmm. Barrier and blocker. So that's an interesting combination, I must say. Swap 8 for 2 yellow and 2. So if you are not Z Awakened, this costs 1 yellow and 2. If you are Z Awakened, it costs just 1 yellow to go into an 8 drop. But you need to mm -hmm. have four more energy. Which mm -hmm. means you can't do it very early. Which no. I think might be a bit of a downfall. Potentially, but it's also yellow. Yellow can defend like hell. And it's also barrier, isn't it? Yeah. Auto limit one. If you have three or more energy, when this card is played by swap, it gets dual attack for the turn. Okay, so you can attack and then it restands. And then you have a blocker still living. And then auto once per turn when your opponent plays battle cards, choose up to one of those cards and negate that card skill for the turn. Oh my god, this came back. This used to be the boss monster for the red chain. Mm -hmm. It just critted your life back then. Yeah, yeah, the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's it's nice, right? Like, it's it's solid. We've seen how effective that can be on a card like um, Sin Shenron, right? So... It's only once per turn. But unlike the old boss chain, uh, the boss, the red boss, this actually is a yellow effect. So I'm happy that they moved it back to yellow, and mm -hmm. it doesn't take, it doesn't require you to crit a life token. No. Which the game progressed, so it's fair. Yeah. Uh, next up we have freezer limitless raw power. Um, again same swap situation. Uh, auto limit one when this card is played by swap. 
Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier switch to rest mode, and this card can't be removed from the battle area by your opponent's skills until the end of your opponent's turn. Additionally, if you have three or more energy, this card gains double strike. I love this guy. I think he's great. <laughs> so he's definitely scary, right? You can switch something to rest mode, and he's protected. You can switch yeah. anything to rest mode. You can get yourself that attack target. Uh, some cheeky Roshi being on board, you can just rest him and try to remove. Mm -hmm. And the know, fact that like he it. can get double strike, I think it's scary. Although that auto is only once per turn, so... Yeah, yeah. but then you're going to swap him out anyway, right? Like, that's the idea. Is you, yeah. it, These guys are protected, and you turn it... Like, especially him, Like and the uh, last one we saw, they have barriers, so they've got building protection. They're designed not to be swapped on the turn they're played. Like, you, you, they want to maximize your gain out of them, which I think is nice. Yeah, you want to be able to go into a team leader when you go into uh, when you want to activate this swap. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, again, and I, again, having that auto just be like, I can't be removed by skills, good luck. Mm. Um, There's one more fight drop that we've already talked about in the previous video. Yeah, uh, but I think it's worth again. mentioning again, just go over the effects for those who might not have seen that video. It is a swap 8 sim as all the others uh also limit one when this card is played so it doesn't have to be by swap you draw a card and choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode ignoring barrier ko it we've already seen two cards that switch stuff to rest mode this is just an extra punish for that i really like it o on, on its face and then you've got the activate main of choose one of your yellow saiyan or three zyma cards play this card from your z energy and add that card to your z energy which again yeah. we've talked about how you can add those cards back so you are literally just cycling it around yeah it's great the fact that this is a way of swapping this to, i think hurts the deck a bit because you have a lot of the actual cost on your swap yeah i that's fair but like i'm like if you're at the five cost and you're like oh well let's go into something a bit more aggressive here or i need yeah. to remove something I, like do i go up the chain or do i swap essentially into my z energy i think i think that's a really cool choice you have um and again, having stuff in your Z energy is great. You can always charge this from the top of your deck. It's great. Activate main, limit one. If you have three or more energy and you remove this card from the game, play a yellow Goku or Freezer with a cost of two or less from your hand or drop. So restarting your swap chain, which is huge. If you need to, because of course, if this one is going to end up in your Z energy again, you get to play it out again very easily. And then you can restart the chain if you need to. Yeah. Yeah, just a really solid SR. I think it's a really good thing to have in the deck. And now we should talk about the elephant in the room, the age drop. The the boss boy, the evolved emperor. I'm surprised uh, he only got the... one. For Sadly, uh, yeah, I would have liked to, like, you could have given us a rare one. But, you know, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take it. Um, deflect with double strike dual attack. Pretty solid keyword. And Permanent. When this power. card would leave the battle area... Add it to your Z energy instead. This is such an interesting skill. So one thing that it means for sure is you can't use it for suppressor. Yes. Because it doesn't go to the drop. Yes. Uh, the other thing is anything that would... Removing this from board is just pretty much impossible. And then you, with a one drop you can grab it back from your Z energy. Exactly. And then auto, when this card is played, choose all of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, ignoring barrier, KO them, and you can't play copies of this card for the turn. Pretty good effect. This is, yeah, this is scary. It's just board wipe. You attacked me with everything you had, I survived, and I'll just board wipe you back. And yellow is very good at surviving. Yes. Uh, nice. Activate main, limit one. If your leader is a yellow freezer, and your opponent has two or more energy, you remove this card in your Z energy and the top five cards of your deck from the game, play a yellow freezer with an energy cost of one from, with swap from your hand. This I is great. Think... This is amazing. This is amazing because you can only play one of those per turn. Uh -huh. So if you have two of them in the rotation, you're like, ah, what the hell? to remove this remove the top five and just free play a one drop that lets me start the chain yeah and then because uh, essentially it's free at that point you just swap yeah 
you, so you go from so your one into your three, is, and is taking away that one cost is really important for the deck because it's not exactly. part of the awaken stuff. Yeah. Uh, so if you if you're on your Z leader, you, you're essentially you could probably go into your fives. I think you could easily go back down, uh, back up to eight. Yeah, true. From that, because it's you play the one drop for free to go into a three drop. It costs you one to go into a five drop, and one to go into Z leader, and one to go into eight drop. Yeah, that's yeah, very good point. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, a, a really solid, nice little boss monster there. Um, really happy with it. It is a 110, but you know. I think that is really good as the 110 because your leader can combo this. Exactly. There you go. So you get even more advantage out of comboing it, and then you can also Z charge it where it's ready. If you're ever stuck and you're like, I don't have the energy to play my one drop, yeah, okay, you have to sacrifice five cards from your deck, but you know, maybe it's worth it. It, the only problem is if you don't have five cards in your deck. Well, so yeah. It's, it's a cost, so you need to be able to have yeah. five cards in your deck. And then we also, because the Z leader we talked about also has Z stat. Yes. So we should talk about the Z battle cards. Indeed we shall. With Slobe, Emperor's Subject, if you want to take it away. Uh, it's a one drop with one Z energy cost and one plus five yellow. 4,000 power. Unique. Means you place two of your Z energy in your draw. When one of your opponent's battle cards is played by its skill, play this card from under one of your Z leaders, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards with cost seven or less and switch it to rest mode. I really like it. This is really <laughs> scary, this is not limited. Nope. And when this card is played, look at the five cards from the top of your deck, add either Return of the Army of Terror to your hand. Oh, so you can only add. Uh, return of Army of Terror to yeah. your hand if you find it. If you do, you need to discard a card from your hand, though. It mm -hmm. helps you find that additional tool. It, it will activate if you play it with the first auto, which is also nice. The thing I don't like about this, it's unique. Yeah. You can't remove it yourself from board. No. I think that's the biggest problem with this card. It's really cool, yeah. but it's unique. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, I mean... I think it's gonna. Like, I, I think maybe it's a one of in the Z, uh, in the Z deck, just because you know it will catch people off off guard, um, and yeah, I, I think it's gonna be. A, I, I think it, I think it could be quite a uh, menace of a card to be honest. I, I'm I'm I am quite hopeful for how this gets played out. I mean, that's your uh, counter to creature absorb. Yeah, yeah. Because it's played with overall. Which switches to rest mode, it never attacks, so it never gets the power. So Ulong can't. Yeah, I mean, all power. you have to do is like get into your Z leader once, right? And it, like, yeah, yeah, and it's just it's 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 literally a time bomb waiting to go off. Yeah. Um, and then we got to Goma. Emperor subject. Wahoo! Uh, so he's a four k. When this card is played, add one yellow freezer. When it's cost of one from your drop to your hand, if you do play up to one yellow freezer. From your hand with an edge cost of free and swap. That's just really good. This is ridiculous, isn't it? That it is just like right, you get your one drop back, and also you can play a free drop. Yeah. Uh, add one card from your hand to your life. Discard one card from your hand and switch this card to rest mode when your yellow freezer with an edge cost of free is played. Play up to one yellow freezer army token with a 10k power at the end of the turn, and that card gains block until the end of your opponent's turn. So this is a token negate. Kind of, yeah. So, this one is not limited. This one is not unique. Yet you do need to take a life and discard a card, which essentially turns any of your cards into token negate. And by the pure fact that you play this guy, you get to do the second effect as well. Because mm -hmm. you get to play a free drop. Because it doesn't say yeah. that your free drop freezer needs to be played by a swap skill. No. I think this is really good. This is a... But the problem is the Z, uh, Z energy cost, right? Because it's free. Yeah. It's like I, two attacks yeah. you need to do. I, I think that's too much. I, I, yeah. I, I think so. It's, it's quite highly costed, but it is quite a good card. So it really just depends, right? Yeah, it, it depends on the situation. But I think 
always trying to have one of those on board, especially if you're trying to be a bit defensive. And it puts you at, it puts you that four life mark mark, so you can de awaken. Yeah, true. I I also like if you're really struggling on that one drop and you already have one in your drop, you just go okay, screw it. Yeah. Or if you've got one in your Z energy and you pay the cost to get it out, and then you bring yeah. it back to your hand. You know, there's there's lots of interactions where I can see this being useful, but yeah, on paper the cost is quite high. Yeah, the, the thing is that you can't play the free drop unless you add a one drop from your drop to your hand. I think that that's the biggest downside of the card. Mm. True. Uh, then we got Sorbet pursuing the deepest desires. He is a two cost with five k. Auto limit one when one of your yellow freezer cards with swap is removed from the battle area by an opponent's skill plate from your hand. Nice. That's when this card is played, play up to one yellow freezer card when it's cost of one and swap from your drop. Again, really nice keeping that swap consistent. I they, think this guy is invaluable. They give enough consistency for this deck to always be able to restart the swap, which is amazing. Yeah, I, I think that's like one of Swap's downfalls is like you get to a point where yeah. it's like, ah, uh, I'm mismatching. And I, this is like, no, we're going to basically guarantee you're always going to be going because that one drop is just so good. And they learned the lesson they showed in the Swap Chain. Yes. Because in the past, the Swap Chain was like six or seven steps. And I'll see yeah, it's like, you know, you, you go... One into you two, your... two into three, three into four, four into five, five into eight, six steps. Yeah, it's like, like, look, it's fine. It's one, three, five, eight. It's yeah, it's way easier. You have multiple paths as well, and they also discount it depending yeah. on, like, it all does come together quite nicely as a package, I think. Yeah. Um, and then we've got Sorbet Devoted Support. If you want to say this one, so it's a, another two drop Sorbet with five thousand power and counter attack on limit one. You negate the attack and play this card. If your leader is a yellow Freezer Z leader, you can activate a counter from your hand for free. Just so good. And then activate battle. Once per turn, you can choose one of your yellow Freezer cards with swap. And that card gets 5,000 power for the turn. It was so close to being really good. Mm -hmm. If you can't choose a leader. No, that's true. But I think having a free negate while you're a 20k body, that's pretty solid. Oh, I'm going to, the card is amazing because only the counter attack is on limit one. But if you can mm -hmm. manage to have it on board. Oh, yeah, then it gets. They're not unique, nor is the activate battle uh, limit one. No. So you can just pump your guy plus 20 and then combo them off. Because they don't rest themselves to do that. Yeah, that's true. And then just bang him in and use the energy. Yeah. Exactly. No, it's just you can. Uh, they're fa they are essentially a 10k combo when you attack with a freezer with a swap skill. Yeah, Cannot really, really nice card. Drop, which is interesting. Really nice card. Yeah, that's true because it doesn't have swap. Yeah. Um. Then we have. Then we got Tagoma pursuing deepest desires. This guy is a free cost with 20k. Auto limit one. Pay one yellow. If your leader is a yellow freezer, when this when your life is placed in your drop, play this card from your hand. Eh. Eh. Do we have Activate man. Places your own life in the drop. Is it Takama D battle doing that? Active. No. Uh, no. D battle Adds it to your hand. hand. Uh, it's like if you get crit somewhere, I guess. Yeah, uh, exactly. Activate man once per turn. Choose up to one of your yellow freezer cards that gets 5k power for the turn. I, eh. It's eh. good, but. It, it, it's no a common way. for a reason. So the biggest problem with this card is it depends on your opponent. You have no way of using it yourself. Uh, does the freezer, the golden freezer, when it procs its uh, activate main, hit it? The um, the SR. If your leader is a yellow freezer, two more energy. This from Z energy and no, that removes from game. And the five drop. Nope. No. No, um, it needs to be specifically your life that goes to the drop. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, well. You ah, know, yeah. what, one one mech card out of the bunch, I'll take that. Uh, then we've got the skill list and then the super combo. Yeah. Not much to talk about on there. Super combo is a typical four life or less. Although I think in here we would be way better using the Z battle card super combos. Yeah, I think so. I, I oh, having certain Z energy, being Z leader, or having Z battle card. I think that that was the requirement for that one. Yeah. And I think um, that would be a better choice. Or, of course, Krillin. Yeah. 
because the Seti Eleven uh, Super Combos are still one of the most powerful ones ever made. That's true. That is true. They are very strong. Um, yeah. Overall, really nice archetype. Um, I'm looking forward to playing with it, which is rare for me to say about a yellow deck. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have much more to add. Uh, any final thoughts from you, Lurky? I have not looked um, properly, but the biggest question is, is there another yellow Age of Sea deck? Um, That'd be a good is it, does it require yellow? I thought they'd just go into an Age of Freezer. No, it requires yellow. Ah, uh, that's sad. Um, I, I want to say there is. Any age drop, then sure, that that. Yeah, because then you then it opens up the door to all all those dumb, uh, age drops. But uh, I don't think there's another yellow age drop because I think they used to cap at seven. I was gonna say one like the the tournament power one seven, I believe. Yes. So uh, is the uh, one from set one, the terror one. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh my god. <laughs> I completely forgot about that guy. Um, I think that's that. Uh, there's Heartless Strike from set one. That's an 8 drop? That's an 8 drop. It's the uh, it's the rare one. Uh, when you play this card, if King Cold is in play, <laughs> in your battle area, choose up to two Freezer clan other than Freezer from your hand. And play them. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. If we're going to get a promo, that's King's Cold. I, you know, uh, I mean, I, I can see us getting another 8 drop in the future. Yeah, right? I, I wouldn't it's... be surprised. Um, but yeah, overall, a really nice little piece. Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you need any accessories, any uh, 3 by 4 binders, the magnetic cases, or deck boxes, we even have some sleeves in the sleeves. Uh, mm -hmm. Check out Vault X. All the all the links are in the description. Thank you guys. Yeah. You've been smashing and helping us a lot with your purchases. So we also hope that uh, Patrick getting his gift for you. All right. See you next time.